the three groups arrive in Narsh, and now a decisive battle is about to unfold. Hi, it's me, Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I need to explain what's been up, but first dialogue. I understand what you're saying, but. You're asking us to spill our blood for you. That's not what we asked! What you ask is the same. Ha! You're absolutely right! Uh, M Bannon? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure you're... Well, you, you've just gone out and said it now. Emperor Gastal is racing to acquire even greater magic tech power. That's the reason he wants the espers to, that was discovered here. If we allow the Empire to continue amassing weapons of magic tech destruction, history's greatest mistake will be repeated. The War of the Magi. Yes, let's go for that. The legendary conflict that laid waste to the world! You're saying that could happen again? Well, it's already sort of happening. Um... Well, you thought wrong. Edgar, it's Sabin! How the hell did he ever beat Locke here, I will never know. It just doesn't make any sense. Seven, you're alright! Who have you brought along? Who indeed? I am Sian, a warrior of the Kingdom of Doma. Wow, Gow! The Empire killed everyone in Doma, down to the last child. Kefka poisoned them. Damn straight. But that was because Doma was collaborating with the Returners. As long as we remain neutral, we have nothing to fear from the Empire. Think again! I guess Locke was just waiting outside for his chance to enter. Locke! The Emperor's pose to attack Narsh as we speak! What? W where indeed? Celez here was at one of the Empire's jet. Uh. So it is her! I thought she looked familiar. Sir Gao, step aside! Whoa! Don't do something you'll regret, Sian. The infamous General Celez. The woman single-handedly responsible for the decimation of Miranda. Stand and meet thy judgment, Imperial... Wait, don't say the swear word. We need to keep this PG-13. <laughs> Celez has promised to jo join the Returners. She's fighting on our side now. Be that as it may, I promise I'd protect her, and I won't give up a woman I've sworn to protect. Oh, Locke, you sly... T really taking after the king, aren't you? <laughs> over... wait. You still haven't gotten over that. Stop speaking so intentionally cryptically!
I was also an Imperial soldier. -er. What? Yep, that's technically true. The Empire is evil, but that doesn't mean all of its citizens are. That's actually a very important distinction to make. Just because the government is rotten, doesn't mean the peop people under it are. The Empire has a lot of good people in it, just... Its leadership, it leaves something to be desired. I'm gonna have to defer to my brother on this one. The Empire is here! We're under attack! I don't care what you have to do! Just get me that Esper! Kefka, sir, what about the civilians? What about them? Kill them all! <laughs> but sir, Narsh is a neutral city! Idiot! Read my lips! Mercy is for wimps! There's a reason a pose rhymes with dispose. Get them in. They get in your way? Just kill them! March! It seems the choice has been made for us. Let us make ready for war! They're here for the Esper. We move it up into the cliffs above the valley. Then that's where we'll make our stand. Locke has a complicated past. Don't go falling for him now. Think he was protecting. Uh. You know, this is too fast for me to read. So, in it out loud. Just. Don't fall for Locke. Complicated past. He was protecting you. Blah, blah, blah. Terra, who'd have thought we'd meet again like this? You can use magic too, can't you? But it's different from mine. I was raised by an Imperial Magitech Knight. Or no, raised to be. When I was still very young, I was artificially infused with magic. Which is why she can use magic, so now you know. Is it possible for you to- What? That, that seems like something of a non-secular. -se are, are, are you mocking me? Don't think even for a moment that I trust thee. Fine, just y use your own eyes and see for yourself which side I'm on. Okay, we're in control now, which means this is finally a good opportunity to explain where I've been. Basically, if you've watched Golden Sun, and you probably don't, looking at my numbers, but you should, then you know that I had a dental... Sur had dental surgery in November, which basically stopped me from d recording anything for two weeks. Including this. Now, I had a just enough um, backlog on this to last through that until I could have recorded in the end, except that right before I was on my let's record a whole bu bunch of Final Fantasy VI time before I run out, window of opportunity, I got caught a cold, so I couldn't record anything. And then I had to start finishing up for classes because, well, because I just finished my last week of them. I still have finals, in fact, but screw studying for finals. That's a decision that's going to bite me in the ass, probably. <laughs> but anyway, so that's where I've been. Now you know.
I'm recording a whole lot here. In fact, this is probably going to be released during my finals week, just so you know. That said, let's let's get ready. Coming up is going to be a group battle. We can talk to people to equip them. Um, there's there's going to be three groups. I'm probably going to go for a group of, for a setup of three of uh, four to one. Which I normally wouldn't do, to be honest. But there's a very particular reason I want to do it in this battle in particular. First of all, I haven't tried it before and I want to see how it works. <laughs> but also because we are immediately after this group area, press the right button please, we are going to lose a party member. Um, I'll let you guess as to which one. And, consequence, and consequently, we uh, do not want things on said party member that we stand to lose. Hmm. So, yeah. Let's see... Now, to equip everyone, we just need to talk to someone, like so, and we switch spots. Let's see, how do I want to set everyone up, though? Um... I don't need the sprint shoes. Let's see... I think I want... What do I want on you? Ribbon... And... Now I want to put that on Edgar. Let's see... Or maybe Cyan, actually. He has counterattack. That's always a good combination. Well... No, because Sian's not going to be in my main group. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and give you... The... Hmm. Yeah, I want to give you haste. Is probably the best. Oh, you had a great sword. I wasn't sure. So I can put that back on Terra. Gonna give you this though. And the silk robe. Go back to Terra for a second so I can put proper equipment on her. But I'm not gonna put any relics on Terra that I cannot live without. In fact, I'm probably not gonna put any relics on her, to be honest. It's easier not to. You should have... Hmm... Well, I like this combination for the high evasion. So, I might not change that up. So, in that case... Sniper... Maybe just Gigas Glove? Yeah, let's go with that. Let's see... You, I can do next. This guy... Mithril Spear? Good. Oh, hey, I have another Greatsword. Equipment's basically where it should be. So, nice code black. Okay, I guess he already had those. Well, that simplifies things somewhat. And you! Yes, you! Oh yeah, I forgot a gate. Oh yeah, I forgot about my green barrettes. Those things are so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna give two earrings to Sabin here. Because those will make him sig... That, those... Eh... Talking is hard. That'll make his uh, aura sphere 
deal significantly more damage. Now that just leaves Cyan, who I'm thinking I'm going to throw the... Am I going to do Genji Glove? I don't really want to do Genji Glove. I don't know. Throw the Hyper Wrist on him. Like so. Hmm. Okay, so in case it isn't obvious yet, the part my four person party is going to be Slez, Locke, um what's his name? Uh Slez, Locke, Sabin, and Edgar. Cyan is better with a lot of autonomous people like Gao. Which is why I'm not using him. And I'm not using Gao basically entirely because I didn't get the Stray Cat um, Rage. Because I screwed up with that. If I had the Stray Cat Rage, I would use him and he would just tear everyone to pieces. But I didn't, so I'm not. So, yeah. Terra is probably about as good as Celez for this part. But the catch being that you lose someone... Plus, also, actually, actually, no, that's not even true. The real catch being, you actually want Runic for uh, one of the battles that's coming up shortly. So, if I had... So, a good alternate... Well, maybe not a good alternate one. I would prefer to use Gao over Edgar if I had the proper rage for him. But, because I don't, it's better to have um, Edgar, because I can control him and use it for healing and stuff. Let's see. Sure, let's throw that on you. Whatever. Doesn't, you know, it doesn't even, what did I put on him? Mithril Glove. Eh, it, it doesn't matter. I should take this, actually. I should give it to someone else. But I'm not going to. Anywho. Let's go and save. And then get on with the battle! This is going to be a long episode. But it seems reasonable. Ah, uh, wait. It turned me to... Excuse me. It turned me back to Terra. Hmm. Well, whatever. Yes, I am. No, I don't need an explanation. Ta-da! Party setup time! Terra goes there. You and you go here. And everyone else goes over here. Like so. Here they come! Okay, so basically, we need to protect Banon. Oh, if it isn't General Celeste, the traitor! Excellent! Now I won't have to hunt you down later! Go! Get those vile insects! Oh, and now, usually I prefer to split my parties up more evenly, and basically block off all the roots. That said, that's not what I'm doing this time. Clearly. This time around... I'm basically gonna try to do all the work with one party. Like so. With the advantages being, my one party is stronger, plus also I can use, use steel on everything. Oh yeah, an auto crossbow. Steel! Hooray! 
rob them blind! Couldn't steal? Ha that's lame. Haha! <laughs> Counterattack! Counterattack is the best counterattack. Hmm. Let's see, I guess Celeste's auto haste and what? Did I give her a ribbon? I think? That sounds right. Hmm. I can actually probably use magic with Celeste with Impute. Because it's not going to be really that important later on. The, the important thing... Well, actually, no, that's not true. I want to be able to heal with her at a moment's notice. Uh, but mostly I want her to be able to use Runic later on, which doesn't use MP. So, you know, not a big deal. Hmm. I should put Sabin in the back row, actually. Uh, and Edgar, I think. Hmm. Well, then again, if I put Edgar in the back row, it'll weaken his counterattack power. Tough choice. Hmm. I should put Sabin in the back row, though. Steal! Come on, I'll be successful one of these days. Not that time, though. Haha! <laughs> Counterattack! Do a good target, please. Thank you. Oh, hey, that didn't... Oh, no, it, it did kill him. After all. Hmm. I mean, I'm sort of hoping I can steal at least once from these. I don't think they even have anything that worthwhile, to be honest. It's just... It's just stubborn... Stubbornness on my part. But I want to steal, damn it! I mean, I'll probably get like a potion or a high potion. That's probably about the best thing. Whoa, Edgar needs to. I need to heal him. Or it's fear. Ha! Okay, so. Time to break out the Celeste healing time. Um. Yeah. Magic! There we go. That ought to do- Whoa, I just used up all my MP. I did not have much, did I? That's sort of unfortunate. Loop around to take out these guys. And you know, I can probably start cutting ba battles after this. You've seen, you've sort of seen what there is to offer here. Yeah, I gotta say, I like doing this a lot better when I do it with the whole party. It gives you a lot more variety. It's just, it's, this is arguably the more efficient way, but it just is a, more fun, I think. Oh well. I decided to try it this way for once, on camera, because you know that's always a good idea. Why is Locke not moving? Hmm. Whatever. Okay, let's hunt down the rest of these guys. Oh, hey, this is new. Fedor? Really? Whatever. 
I somehow I doubt it'll stand up too well. Actually, I hit the cap, the corporal with the aura sphere. Well, had I theoretically hit it with the aura sphere, somehow I doubt it would have survived. Maybe second time's the nope. Second time's not the charm. Cause I killed it first. Yeah. Okay. Let's just... Man, there's a lot of people. <laughs> hmm. Normally my impulse would be to kill all of them. But truth be told, I'm not convinced that's actually the best call. Knowing what I do about how leveling up works in this game, it might be more beneficial to wait. Well, not wait, but rather to just rush past the big. Excuse me, rush back past the big swarm here. Ah, uh, but that's kind of min maxi. I don't know. Let's clear out the guys protecting Kafka at least. Now this time I should hit the damn dog with the Aura Sphere. And it'll definitely kill it, like, super easily. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't really feel like fighting all of them, to be honest. Oh hey, that guy is new. And hit really hard. Uh, wow. But can he stand up to the Aura Sphere? Well, he took one of them. Oh hey, I actually stole something valuable. And then he killed Locke. That's, that's a pain in the ass. Okay, I think I probably just killed him, but... Yeah, I did. Okay, well, Locke doesn't get any experience, but he's still a Mithril Vest, so, you know, can't complain too much. I can complain a little bit. <laughs> Let's see... Heal, 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 heal! Yeah, this is maybe not the best choice I've ever made, but I think I'm just gonna fight Kafka immediately. Right after I try out that vest. Oh yeah, that's that's quite nice. Hmm. Well, anyway. Shall we do this? Yeah, yeah, I think we shall. Bring it, Kefka! You, we've waited a long time for this. It's just too bad Sion won't get his revenge. Well, we'll deliver it for him. It, plus interest. Okay, so here's the thing about Kefka. He can do that, but he also has a lot of powerful magic attacks. Which is why we want Runic in this battle. Um, he doesn't actually have much that's worth stealing, to be honest. He has an elixir, that's about it. I'm gonna try to steal the elixir. If I don't get it, I don't really care, though. It's not a big deal to me. Yeah, like so. Because his magic attacks are pretty easily his most powerful ones. Plus also, this way, I get an extra MP for healing, in case I need it. Which is always nice. But yeah, no, I'll probably kill him pretty quickly using Aura Sphere, truth be told. Ha ha ha! Drain could have been pretty nasty, actually. But I think he has around 3,000 HP, and I'm dealing, like, 
a sixth of that a turn. With no one but Sabin. So... Yeah, I'm probably good. Oh, hey, I should actually pay attention and execute my commands. Oh yeah, did I just kill him? Yeah... Don't think you've won! And he runs away. Typical Kafka. But yeah, not a super hard fight if you know what you're doing. And a peace ring? I'm pretty sure that's just a status effect ring. I'm pretty sure. Grrr, I won't forget this! Where's that Esper? Is it alright? And all the soldiers are gone. Normally I would have fought them all, but normally I would have also organized my party differently, which would have made it a lot less monotonous. Like... Yeah... Well, it was worth trying once. Whew, the Esper is still safe. It also appears to be alive. Frozen in ice. Sure, why not? Good question. Is that even possible? I mean, I hardly think Sian is an expert on them, to be honest, so... Terra, what is it? Oh, that's... that cannot be good. Uh, uh... This really can't be good. Terra and the Esper! They're reacting to each other, resonating, I'd say. Maybe that's just me, though. Valley Garmanga. Garmanda. Valley Garman. That's a really long name. What? What is this I'm feeling? Hmm? Well, what's going on? Please tell me. Who am I? Who? Terra! The Esper. It's responding to her. Terra. Get away from that thing! Uh, and now she's purple. Wait, what? Uh... What just happened? Hmm, this is surprisingly not laggy. For the mode that I know is really, tends to be really bad on... Actually, this is a little bit laggy, I think. I'm pretty sure it should be going faster. Maybe not, though. I don't really remember. Uh, anyway, I should not be talking about the technical things. Terra just turned into a fly naked flying purple woman thing. Um, are you awake? Where's Terra? She turned into a something and flew off. She looked like... She looked like an esper.
So you're saying that Terra's an Esper. Well, that's certainly a change of pace for this game series. Something happened to Terra. There must be some sort of connection between her and the Esper. We need to find her! Witnesses said she went streaking across the sky, beyond Figaro. We've gotta hurry! I promised I'd protect her! Lock. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Empire will be back again for the Esper. And someone needs to protect Bannon. A former Imperial soldier. But still, we must help her! Let's split up. Those who aren't searching for Terra will stay here to guard against further attacks. Figaro Castle can shuttle the others to the western province. It shouldn't be hard to track down clues in Kolingen or Jador as to Terra's whereabouts. Okay, so here's the thing here. We can take four people, or we can, can take three, or even less if we want to, I guess. Taking three actually does have an advantage, as we will have an opportunity to recruit Shadow later if we have three or fewer party members. That said, I haven't actually decided uh, whether or not I'm going to do that. What it, however, here's the thing. I don't really want Cyan right now because the same reason as before. I don't really want Gao right now because the same reason as before. He needs autonomous people, which the only one I have is Gao, and I don't want to use Gao because I don't have the best rage for him. Although, I, he can still tear a lot of shit, but I don't know. I don't know. I might change my mind. I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm gonna decide between episodes because I'm signing off right now, so yeah. I just want to finish explaining here. Now, you should take Locke because he's a thief. You should take Celez because she is the only person we have who can use magic freely. And you should take Edgar. Make sure you take Edgar. He is not the most powerful right now, but we're going to Figaro Castle. This is the first opportunity we have to buy things at a massive discount, but only if you have Edgar. And we want to buy things at a massive discount because we can get so much stuff. Like, we'll be done, we'll, it'll be our only shopping trip we need, at least for consumables, for a good chunk of the game. And we'll get everything at half price. So, you know, that's really good. That said, my party is probably going to look something like Locke, Edgar, Sabin, Celez. With the only possible exception being, I might decide to swap someone in or out. I may swap Gavin out for Gao, or I may just not bring Sabin. Uh, although either of those possibilities aren't really great, because Sabin is just... He's probably our most powerful character at this point in the game. <laughs> Aura Sphere is really powerful right now. And anyway, though, we will work this out next time. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day.